Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here in Canada. I hope everybody is having a good weekend so far. Right now students, we are focusing on IELTS speaking part three, the speaking section of the IELTS exam. And the speaking section has three parts. The third part is the last part. Some people feel it's the most challenging uh, part of the IELTS exam. And this speaking part three continues from our speaking part two class that we just finished half an hour ago, which was focusing on a healthy and fit person. So this speaking part three is about sports and fitness. No surprise. Uh, Chayang Kip, Welcome, Nitu, Alvina, uh, thank you for that super chat donation in the last class. Uh, Emre, nice to see our members in the class as well. Uh, this is a class brought to you by aehelp.com. We use this website in the live classes uh, for speaking to students. We use the materials from this uh, website uh, from our practice exams, so it's a really good idea uh, to uh, use the premium package on the website so that you can follow these live classes, okay? Um, the website looks like this. This is the Academic IELTS website here. You click the big red button that's just above my head there uh, to join our premium IELTS package. It's a one-time payment. You only pay once, not every month, just once uh, for lifetime access. It doesn't cost very much and we are an IELTS test registration center certified agents. And again, we use this website for the live classes on YouTube. So it's really good to have it so that you can work with the materials for these live classes. Okay, um, you can also try the course by clicking that green button there. For the general IELTS, uh, same idea, it's gieltshelp.com, it's the green background and you simply click this big red button here to join our uh, general IELTS uh, premium package. Um, again, students, we have this uh, discount code, HAPPY9, so uh, click use coupon code, enter HAPPY9 and you get a 20% discount from an already uh, cost-effective uh, premium IELTS package. Me too, thanks for asking. I'm doing fantastic today. Um, for our apps, uh, Academic IELTS Help, General IELTS Help, you can get our apps in your app stores. You can follow us on Instagram. And also, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the notification button so you know when these live classes are happening. And we also post uh, sample essays. Uh, we always are posting new videos um, with practice interviews. In fact, um, we just posted this morning, well, our time morning, but a few hours ago, uh, we uploaded a new speaking interview with a candidate from Kerala. This is their second uh, speaking interview. And uh, there is the interview in the chat. I just put the link in the chat. You can check out that video later, okay? So um, it's really good. Ashish, the app should be working. Uh, send me an email if it's not working on your phone. It could be local to your phone. Uh, we test our apps all the time. We have bots testing the apps as well, so the app should work just fine. Um, if you're on Apple, let me know. Uh, Apple's kind of tricky sometimes. Uh, students, tomorrow we're going to have a special uh, speaking class on Lighthall. Lighthall is a new platform designed for live teaching. So it's awesome, it's new, it's real time, there's no lag, you can talk to other students. Um, in the, on this platform as well. So uh, there's the link in the chat for that uh, free speaking class on Lighthall uh, tomorrow, okay? So check that out as well. Um, all right, uh, and then um, no classes 19th to the 22nd, okay? So uh, we will have a class on Lighthall, okay? Except for the class on Lighthall tomorrow.
on the 19th on Light Hall, but not on YouTube. Um, on YouTube, our next live class will be uh, June 23rd. That will be speaking part one, okay? All right, so let's get into IELTS uh, speaking part three. We just did speaking part two. In speaking part two, I spoke about my sister uh, who is athletic and has been swimming competitively since her childhood. Okay, um, so I'll speaking part three, no surprise, the examiner will say that is the end of speaking part two. Now we will continue with speaking part three. Um, for speaking part three, I will ask you some questions related to the topic of part two. Let's talk about fitness and health, okay? So remember what you said uh, for part two, and then the uh, first question will come at you. Now we will talk strategy, we will look at vocabulary, uh, and we're going to do this as we practice today. Um, final class of this week, so we're going to do lots and lots of practice with our viewers, with candidates, okay? Welcome Rashika Ghazi, good to see more members of our channel uh, joining in, okay? All right, um, so first question, what are the uh, benefits of daily exercise? Okay, give me a nice full sentence answer for this one. I'm going to do the same. For this question, we will look at written answers. And as soon as we do that, we're going to switch to live speaking with volunteers. So I'm going to give an answer, you give an answer, we'll compare, okay? All right, so what are the benefits of daily exercise? The advantages of doing physical fitness every day are both a healthy body and a healthy mind uh, because exercise promotes blood circulation and a positive mood, just like with my sister Annie. Uh, this is the reason I do 30 minutes of yoga each morning. This would be your band nine answer. Look at how I answer, explain. Example. And connect to part two. Okay. So these are the elements that are needed to get a high band score, okay? Content Aid says, I just bought the subscription just now on your website with the name Rohan. All right, Rohan, good for you. That was a smart move. Um, and uh, if you have questions, just send me an email. By the way, those people who do join our Premium Owls package, as you have questions, don't be shy. Send me an email or send our admin team an email and we'll help you with whatever question you have. There is my email right there, okay? So Rohan, that's awesome, good for you. Okay, um, participate in the class for now and then uh, go through the speaking section of the website as well, okay? Thanks for, thanks for that. It's a great way to support us and help us support you, okay? All right, um, we've got a couple of answers coming up to the question, what are the benefits of daily exercise? Akira says, 
This is Akira's answer. Again, right now we're just doing written answers, but very, very soon we will be doing spoken verbal answers as well. Akira says exercising every day uh, is very good for your health and it helps you to be in a good mood throughout the day. Just like my friend Ali, he always goes out for a run at 6 p.m. and he is smiling from morning until night. Okay, so finish that example, Akira. Now, um, Akira, part three, part one, even part two, don't use you, okay? So exercising every day is very good for health, okay? You don't need the word you, just for health, okay? And it helps to be in a good mood, okay? You can just take out the you, all right? And then you're not using that second person voice. Avoid saying you, we, us. It makes conversation confusing in many cases. Why are you talking about me? Mm. Um, all right. Hikmatillo. Hikmatillo says... There are more benefits of doing physical exercise than drawbacks, such as jogging, swimming, doing yoga as well. Doing regular exercise makes a person uh, fit and full of strength, no keep. Um, just yesterday, and uh, I went jogging to the stadium near my home. And I feel as strong as an ox. Okay. Uh, Hikmatillo, finish your example. It's the same mistake as with Akira. So um, when you say that uh, doing exercise makes a person full of strength, then finish uh, the example with uh, strength, right? So uh, in English, we'll often say that uh, you're strong as an ox. Okay, ox is like, it looks like a bull or like a cow kind of. It's a very strong animal. Uh, it's one of the uh, one of the lunar signs as well, and it's a symbol of strength. So I feel as strong as an ox. Okay, finish it. Okay, finish the examples, students. Does that make sense? So when you give an explanation, okay, like uh, good mood right there, for Akira, then we want to finish the example. He is smiling morning to night. Um, for Hikmatillo, Hikmatillo says full of strength, so finish your example as strong as an ox. Okay, does that make sense, everybody? Example should match the explanation. Okay, the examples must match the explanations. Uh, for uh, coherence and high band scores. Okay. All right. Fateh says, have a look at my answer at the top, sir. Fateh, I am searching for it, but I don't see it. I don't know if YouTube um, gives me everything that you write. Fateh, I also started doing some exercise by watching her, and now I have very good physical health. That's all I see, Fateh. I don't see the rest of it. So YouTube might be for some reason filtering that one for me, okay? All right, some good answers there, students. We do want to get to uh, the live speaking here. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's get into some live speaking. Let's practice with each other, okay? Um, so Ghazi, uh, Elvina, um, Ju Sun Yen, I think, is the character and the Japanese uh, character is there. Ju Sun Yen, um, just uh, volunteer, okay? Use your voice with me. I'll show you how to do that. So um, I'll walk everybody through this. So this is volunteering for speaking. 
so that I can hear your pronunciation and your fluency as well as your vocabulary and grammar that I see, okay? All right, um, so uh, first of all, you need to register an account at aehelp.com. It can be a free account. You don't have to pay, although it's a good idea. Like with, I think it was Rohan that just got it or just bought it. Um, then uh, you log into your My Student account. Then you click on Student Partner Speaking. I will show you this in a moment. Make sure to enable your uh, your microphone, okay, in the browser. It's very important, right? If you don't enable the microphone, we can't talk to each other. Um, and then you will see a blue envelope with the handle master uh, beside it. Uh, click on that, send me a message and say, I want to volunteer. Then I will choose different people and I will say, are you ready? And you type yes and we begin. Let me show you how lots of students use this function on the website every day to connect with each other. So here's the website and this website again is aehelp.com www.aehelp.com okay that's where you're going with this uh, then you can register a full premium account with the red button or a trial account with the green button and then you have a my student account in your my student account you have computer-based practice exams you have a full course you have uh, study plans. Um, by the way, Rohit uh, that just joined a couple minutes ago used the uh, study plan to start. Um, and then uh, you have uh, student partner speaking right here. You've got lots more, but let's get to the point, right? Um, so you have a student partner speaking. By the way, if you like this and you want to book a full speaking, interview practice you can do that by clicking on the yellow speaking interview practice button but for right now we're going to use the student partner speaking click um, accept the terms means be polite don't share private information we don't share your information with anyone we don't ever sell your information um, okay and uh, then uh, you will have this list of beautiful people here. Mani Deep at the top, Muhammad, Amrit, Monica, Jay, Pradeep, and many, 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 many more, which is fantastic. And I can see that lots of people are already messaging me today. That's awesome. Ghazi, I know I promised you last class that I would be looking for you. You were volunteering then. So let's start with Ghazi. Let's put my ears on. And let's speak, IELTS speaking. Yes, are you ready? Okay, Ghazi, let's do this. Let's start off with a couple of part three questions. And I know you were in the last class as well, so that's good. You know what was going on in part two. Okay, Ghazi says, why not? Hi, Ghazi. Hi, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic because last night I went to the gym and had a really good workout. Good, yeah. That is healthy. <laughs> right? It's true. Unfortunately, uh, don't go days, Up. but I like uh, volleyball, but uh, soon I think we'll start. Yeah, volleyball, especially in the summertime, Ghazi, volleyball yeah. is uh, very popular because it's um, uh, a beach sport as well, right? So... Exactly, I like it. I love it. Mm -hmm. So we'll start it next week. So good, good, good for you. Good for you. Yeah. All right, Ghazi, uh, let's do this. So I will ask you a couple of questions uh, for speaking part three. Give me some nice full sentence answers. Make connections <coughs> when possible. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's talk about fitness and health. Uh, what are the benefits of daily exercise? Actually, uh, daily, uh, daily uh, exercise uh, has many advantages, uh, like mental and physical uh, benefits, uh, like reduce the anxiety and pressure, uh, 
uh, furthermore also uh, reduce uh, blood uh, uh, pressure and uh, diabetes uh, like I mentioned before my uh, friend Krista because she uh, athletic person uh, she hasn't uh, have any uh, uh, illnesses and uh, she has uh, a positive attitude okay um, so good um, let me give you a bit of uh, reflection on that so that was good okay that was good that was a solid uh, 6.5 I'm willing to say because you have good fluency you have clarity um, yeah. you definitely want to keep working on fluency. So you want to be even faster. You have very good structure and yeah. you want to focus on grammar as well. So grammar, fluency, uh, what that means, Ghazi, is you want mm -hmm. to get feedback, um, on your speaking as much as possible, either from another person like me at this time or from yourself. So that means, you know, record yourself, listen to it, correct it, say it again. So you said actually their daily exercise, um, it was an okay start. It was a bit, you know, it was, a, it was a little bit bumpy, a little bit of a rough start, but you got there. So actually uh, there are, uh, many uh, advantages uh, yeah. to daily exercise i would have done it like that um okay and then uh like mental and physical um here you should have used um uh, a correlative conjunction so both mental and physical yeah okay that really emphasizes those two points both both mental and physical and then you said like reduce anxiety uh, here you need the ing form, like reducing anxiety. Gerant, yeah, we need. Exactly, exactly. Like reducing anxiety and mm. pressure. What do you mean by pressure? I uh, say the blood pressure, like blood pressure. Okay, so let's make that physical clear then. Benefit, yeah. like okay. Physical benefit. Um, reducing blood pressure, I get you, but that really depends on if I have high blood pressure or low blood pressure, right? Yeah, if that's, have... that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It could be a problem, right? Low blood pressure, both is, uh, is not good. So, um, what do you think Mention. is... A... <laughs> yes, okay, maintaining blood pressure. Maintain. Sure. Or what's another word that you could use? Instead of reducing, you could just simply simplify. Sometimes, Ghazi, the simple thought is the best. Good mm. blood pressure. So, it leads blood. to good blood well, pressure. Mention normal blood pressure. Like yeah, thing. exactly. It helps mm. to maintain uh, normal blood pressure sure that's better too that's clear right because we don't want to reduce it if it's low yeah, yeah. Um, then we pass out <laughs> so it helps to maintain normal blood pressure um, yeah. and lowers diabetes so you have to be careful with verb modification right mm. so and lowers uh the chances of diabetes yeah so good vocabulary just be careful how you put it together yeah okay Okay, um, and then you said, like my sister who exercises uh, daily and never gets sick. Remember that um, uh, uh, idiom that I used in the last class for never getting sick? Um, do you remember what it was? Uh, best to mention to person he... Uh, do you, you've, I, uh, sorry to interrupt you, Ghazi. You're here in Canada, so I'm sure you heard this before. When people feel sick, they say, I feel something. What do they usually say? I feel to mention to... Under, uh, if I feel sick, I would uh, say, I feel uh, under, under... Under weather, yeah. Under the weather, yeah. Under so, the weather, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so here you could use that. You could say, like my sister who exercises daily and never feels under the weather. Under the weather. Mm -hmm. Now, I always tell, you know, people don't use uh, idioms if you're not sure and don't force idioms. Like don't try to stick an idiom in there just to do it, okay? But if it comes naturally and if it fits, yeah, use it. So like my sister who exercises daily never feels under the weather, okay? Yeah, it's it means... nice to use a idiom and the uh, exhibition sometimes, yes. Yeah, so. Sometimes, but not all the time, right? Yeah. You have to be careful with it, okay? Otherwise it starts to get strange. Yeah. 
Okay, um, so uh, here we go. Let me repeat this, and then this is what you want to do, Ghazi. Okay, so yeah. when I, when I'm not there, and <laughs> when you're there, this is what you want to do. Uh, check oh, the yeah. grammar. Use something like Grammarly um, that yeah. we're using in these classes. Fix the grammar. Say sure. it again. Practice it, and you'll get the hang of it. Like you know, sometimes you're like oh, it takes so long and so much effort. Yeah, but it, you know, it gets faster and faster, right? Yeah. So. Uh, here we go. What are the benefits of daily exercise? Actually, there are many advantages to daily exercise, both mental and physical, like reducing anxiety. It helps to maintain normal blood pressure and lowers the chances of diabetes, like my sister who exercises daily and never feels under the weather. Okay, Ghazi, here we go. What are the benefits of daily exercise? Actually, there are many advantages of daily exercise, both mental and physical, like reducing anxiety. It helps to maintain normal blood pressure and lower the chance of diabetes, like my sister who exercises daily and never feels under the weather. Good. Yeah. And always pay attention to the form of the verb, not chance of diabetes, chances of diabetes. Okay. Yeah. Multiple chances. All right, Ghazi. That's fantastic. Keep going, thank keep you. doing it. And thanks for having me. All I'll right. See you next week. All right. And let me know once you start playing volleyball. Maybe I'll come out there and challenge you for a game. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Have a nice weekend. You see too, you Ghazi. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Bye. You Bye. too. Bye. All right. That was Ghazi. Ghazi um, is also in Canada with his family. Um, he is here for residency and to live and enjoy life. Uh, he is on the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. We're far, far apart. He's about 5,000 kilometers from my location, but still in Canada. We're in a big country. All right, um, let's keep going. Uh, Shambhavi, Shambhavi, uh, right under Ghazi here, is volunteering as well. Uh, we've got lots of volunteers in here. Um, again, if you're not sure how to volunteer, I will copy and paste that into the chat, okay, everyone? So I'll show you how to volunteer by pasting it in here. Okay, there's the, whoa! Oh, it's too many words, so I have to do it in two parts. Really? Too many words? Okay. Uh, let's do it in two parts. Uh, let's do it until that part there. Okay. Uh, so here's the second part. Let me just do that, and then uh, we'll get back to speaking here. Uh, Akira, thanks for sending a shout out to Ghazi saying good job. Yeah, that was good job, Ghazi. Everybody support each other. That's the way to do it. Just like Otabek is giving a shout out to Uzbeks. All right. Um, here we go. So, uh, Shambhavi, are you ready? Uh, I put the steps for volunteering into the chat, everyone. So even more of you can join up with us. All right, Shambhavi is ready. Here we go. Lots of ringing, no Shambhavi yet. All right, Shambhavi, not sure what's going on there. Ringing, 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 no answer. Um, we'll jump to somebody else. Uh, let's see if Nazreen, I'm just kind of working my way down the list, but uh, we'll work our way back up the list as well. Oh, Shambhavi calling me back, let's try it. Shambhavi, are you there? I can't hear you. I think maybe Shambhavi, you're having some connectivity issues, so don't worry about it. Just test your system with another uh, person, okay? Uh, check that you enabled your microphone, check your settings, check your connection, check your VPN if you're using one, and then once you've got it working with another student, then give me a shout back, okay? All right, uh, let's go to Nazrin. Nazrin, are you ready? 
How did I? Sh okay, that's interesting. I've been trying to figure that out. All right, Nazrin, are you ready? Hopefully you're, you are, uh, once you send me a message, okay, I can see that uh, you've sent me a message with a little orange number and then just hang in there, okay? All right. Hello, Nasrin. I can kind of hear something on the other end there, Nazrin. It sounds like you picked up. But it sounds like you're like a million miles away from me. It's very, very quiet. Can you check your microphone settings? Yeah, I heard something there. It sounds like your microphone is connected, Nasreen, but it sounds like um, there might be a hardware issue there where your microphone is not connecting properly uh, to your device. Okay, Nasreen, check your setup. All right, we'll come back to you. Um, so I, that was, I'm pretty sure that was a, that was a hardware issue there. I, Probably the viewers will agree with me. We could hear that the microphone was fuzzing around and some sound was there, but not, not too loud. All right, Alex. Let's see if Alex is here. Alex really wants to volunteer. Okay, Alex, are you ready? We'll get it going here. Um, students, check your setup. Check your Wi-Fi, check your connections, check your hardware. Make sure it works. Can you hear me? Alex, I can hear you. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing good. Thank you, Alex. Uh, Alex, how is your weekend so far? Oh, it was really fantastic. As you know, it's holidays and I spend good time at the uh, mountains. Okay. I have no idea if it's a holiday or not. It's not a holiday. Well, actually, it's Father's Day here, but that's not considered a holiday. Um, where are you, Alex? What part of the world? I'm right at the center of the Kazakhstan uh, city of Titi, just Kazgan. Okay, so you're in Kazakhstan, and what holiday are you celebrating? Uh, I meant under the word holiday, uh, just summer weekend. Oh, you mean like school's out? Yes. Is school, is school's already finished for you? Of course. Oh, no, okay. I just in 10th grade. You're in 10th grade, and are you already on summer vacation? Yes, of course. Oh, I didn't know that. See, this is why it's really important in the IELTS exam that you have to you have to be speaking very, very clearly because the examiner doesn't know what you know. Um, so here in Canada, uh, there's one more week of school. So I have one child who's in school and her school finishes next week. So uh, summer vacation doesn't actually start for them until next uh, week. So that's why I was a little bit surprised. So you have to be very clear. You have to say, oh, I had a great weekend because here in Kazakhstan, summer vacation has already started okay okay thank you all right so on the IELTS exam here's my first tip to you the examiner doesn't know what you know clarity and detail very important for high band scores okay okay all right let's get into some part three questions Alex here we go let's talk about fitness and health what are the benefits of daily exercise Oh, definitely there are lots of uh, benefits from doing uh, daily exercises, uh, but of course there are some cons, like if you start doing exercises right from the hard ones, you can easily hurt your bones or muscles, but I guess the benefit are, uh, the number of benefits are more. Are there any negatives? Oh yeah, as I said to you before, you can easily hurt your muscles or you know, your hand or feet or doing exercises without hitting your body. Which sports are the best to do or play for long-term health? For long-term health, uh, I guess it's it would be really helpful to uh, learn how to swim, like swimming. Uh, makes your muscles and your body 
uh, better, like it uh, makes your feet and the shape of your body uh, more beautiful than before. And it's when you're swimming, you have to use all your muscles uh, on the body, neither than other uh, types of sports like uh, v bicycle or boxing. They only use uh, certain parts of your body. Meanwhile, uh, swimming use the whole body. Okay, let me give you some feedback. That was not bad at all. So um, I think uh, you would easily get a band 6.5. So 6.65, 6 I think more closer to the 6.5 range. Um, if we did the full uh, speaking interview, we'd probably score 6.5. That would be my guess, okay? But I think you can do even better. I think with your English, you can get up to 7.75 7, very quickly with just some small changes. Are you planning to do the IELTS exam soon? Oh yeah, on August. You know, I'm I'm really anxious right now. So perfect. Uh, August is perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. Um, so um, uh, you have uh, two months, and that's a perfect amount of time for your English level uh, to pick up an extra one, maybe even two band scores for these sections such as speaking. Just make sure to uh, work on your strategy. So in one or two months, you can't build a lot of grammar or vocabulary that usually takes months and months or years and years, but you can make quick improvements to the way you communicate, okay? And I'm going to help you with that. So first of all, um, the first question, I asked you what are the benefits of daily exercise? You said there are lots of benefits, but there are also negatives. Don't do that. I didn't ask you about the negatives and you noticed that I asked you that after, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so only answer the question that you are being asked. Don't answer questions you're not being asked because the examiner will interrupt you and go to the next question because you're off topic, okay? So do not answer a question that you are not asked. Okay, sorry. Uh, you don't have to say sorry. <laughs> There's no miss. It's not. It's not about sorries or thank yous. It's just an exam, right? So do not answer a question that you are not asked. And by the way, volunteering like this is perfect to build confidence. So you're doing awesome. Okay. So uh, focus just on the question. What are the benefits of daily exercise? There are many benefits, just like Ghazi did, right? He said it helps to keep normal blood pressure, reduces anxiety. Um, helps the person to be strong physically, mentally. Okay, and then um, I asked you, uh, are there any negatives? Okay, and then you did something really good. Uh, you said, oh, um, as I said before, you can easily hurt your muscles. Okay, that was good. So you made a connection there. That kind of connection, that communication, it's good in the exam it leads to higher band scores so you want to connect to what you're saying okay because these are related questions that makes sense mm -hmm. thank you speak in full sentences yes that makes a lot of sense does that make sense yes that makes a lot of sense yeah full sentences okay um, you said you can easily hurt your muscles here's another really important tip and this is not just for you this is for everybody so these mistakes are common um, don't use the word you okay uh, don't speak directly to your examiner but speak in general so speak about people if you're going to use an example you can use I or people but don't speak about the examiner okay, okay. so um, people can easily hurt their muscles uh, when we hurt our muscles we usually don't say hurt the muscle um, do you know what the verb is that we use for uh, muscles specifically injure. what is it injure 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 is good yep injure is good there's another word as well look at what I'm doing um, I don't know <laughs> did you see the camera what I'm doing it's strain is good. Nazrin says strain. Tear is good. So injure, strain, tear. It's still not the most common, but these are good. Strain, tear. Yeah, tearing muscles is horrible. Never do that if you can. It's very painful. Um, sprain, no, in deer. Sprain we use for uh, ligaments, like spraining an ankle. Okay. Um, a very common way we say this pull. You pull muscles. Okay. Pulling a muscle is a very common situation when we 
uh, reach too far or we lift something heavy, then we pull our muscles, okay? So, oh, as I said before, people can easily pull uh, muscles if they um, lift very heavy weights or do exercises incorrectly. And these injuries are painful. Painful and um, can lead to difficulty in daily life. The other day, I pulled my uh, hamstring. Hamstring is one of the big muscles in your upper leg, okay? Um, I pulled my hamstring and I had difficulty walking for a couple hours. Okay, so that would be your clear answer explanation example. So be careful with your word choice, okay? And that will come with practice. Um, again, don't use the word you, okay? And answer mm -hmm. the question only. So um, the next question, the, you said swimming um, would be really helpful um, uh, for long-term health. I really liked that answer, and I think that you uh, did a good job to use the question. You said for long-term health, it would be really helpful to learn to swim. That was a really nice answer using the question, so that was good strategy. Okay, let me do a repetition with the previous one here. So I'm just going to say the question and then copy after me, okay? Ready? Okay. Okay, so are mm -hmm. there any negatives? Oh, uh, yes, uh, as I said to you before, people can easily pull muscles if they lift very heavy weights or do exercise incorrectly. Um, these injuries are painful and can lead to difficulty in daily life. The other day I pulled my hamstring and I had difficulty walking for a couple of hours. Uh, are there any negatives? So just some repetition, are you still with me? I think we might have lost Alex. It looks like oh, we're still, sorry, or, sorry. Are you still here, Alex? Yeah, go ahead and just yeah. repeat, repeat this answer, Alex. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't have access to the YouTube, so I thought I can speak with okay. you. I'll say it one more time. Practice. That's totally fine. Um, with advanced practice, you should be repeating without reading. So <clears throat> let me say it one more time. Really focus on the content, okay? So, oh yes, as I said to you before, people can easily pull muscles if they lift very heavy weights or do exercise incorrectly. These are painful injuries and can lead to uh, difficulty in life. The other day, I pulled my hamstring and I had difficulty walking for a couple hours. Are there any negatives? Oh yes, as I said before, you can uh, easily pull your muscles when you are uh, lifting uh, really high weights or uh, doing exercises incorrectly. Uh, for instance, uh, last month I uh, pulled my muscle so I, I have I had some difficulties to in handling my clothes. Okay, sure, yeah. All right, so that was close enough. You paid attention to the hamstring um, or to the content. Uh, hamstring was the muscle that you pulled in your leg. Uh, again, remember, don't use you and your, okay? So avoid using that, all right? Okay. All right, it's, it's tough, it takes practice. We're, we so commonly try to say you and your that it's hard to ignore that, but you do have to ignore it, especially for professional speaking, okay? All right, uh, thank you so much, Alex. Keep up the good studies, okay? And come back lots during the two months. Use the website, okay? Okay, I'm really anxious, sorry. No, not a problem. Anxiety is totally normal. Um, it means that you really wanna do a good job. So it's, it's normal and by practicing and doing this kind of exercise, you'll calm down, don't worry, okay? Okay, thank All right. you. Keep it up, Alex. Bye. All right, that was Alex from Kazakhstan. That was great, Alex. Give Alex a thumbs up. He was really nervous and, um, you know, it's uh, it's hard. Yeah, and Ghazi said using you is a habit. It is, and it's a habit that we should try to break, 
right? Um, it takes practice, but uh, uh, breaking bad habits is very important in life uh, to be happy and to be successful, okay? All right, um, let's reach out to Zarina just right after Alex here. Zarina would like to volunteer. Zarina, are you ready? Okay, we'll reach out to Zarina. Thank you for the support, everyone. See, Alex, everyone's proud of you, and they're all learning lots of great information from you. So many people say you all the time, by the way. Um, and you can see Andre and Gerline and Gia and our members, Rashika, all giving you thumbs up. So there you go. Carry that with you through uh, the weekend. Okay, Zarina, if you're still hanging out, if you're still there, uh, let me know. Um, pay attention, everyone. I'm giving you a shout out. Zarina. Wait a couple of seconds. I know there's a slight delay here. And if not, we'll look for somebody else. Okay, we've got more and more students here. All right, Zarina, uh, ping me again if you come back. All right, maybe Zarina's gone for the day or gone to sleep. Who knows? Anjali. Are you ready? I'll bounce around the list a little bit here. Okay. So Anjali, if you're there, uh, let me know, and then I will reach out to you. We'll wait a couple of seconds. Akira, if you don't have an idea to speak about, uh, you have to search your memory, visualize. Okay, Anjali is ready. is ringing Anjali and it sounds like you picked up Anjali your end is quite quiet I wonder oh I can I can hear you yeah Anjali I can hear you you can hear me okay Good evening. hi Anjali you sound really far away you're very quiet it sounds like you're like 200 miles from me Am I audible now? Yeah, you're better. I can hear you a bit more. You're, you're only like 10 meters away now <laughs> instead of 200 miles. So I can hear you better. Yeah, speak nice and loud and I think we'll be okay. All right, Anjali, where are you in the world right now? Uh, okay, I'm in India. Uh, it's a state called Uttarakhand. Okay, cool. So you are in the state of Uttarakhand, India? Uttarakhand. Yeah, as uh, in Dharadun, uh, it's capital of Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. Okay, cool. Right on. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank awesome. You. Okay, let's get into a couple of uh, part three uh, speaking questions. Give me some nice full sentence answers. Okay. Ready? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Um, how have governments supported the health of the general public? Um, um, in India, if I say, I think government is quite supportive. Uh, uh, from last uh, few years, um, as we have seen COVID, how it have affected a lot of people. So I think uh, uh, government is quite uh, quite helpful. Uh, have provided free vaccination. Uh, have provided uh, health facilities to a lot of people. I guess that's what I can say about Can it. you give suggestions for further improvements? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat your question? Yes, uh, can you give suggestions for further improvement? Uh, uh, for further in, in improvement, I guess, uh, government should be uh, connect with more people. I mean, uh, on a... Uh, on a background level or on a bottom level, I, I would say uh, that uh, connect with people, ask their problems, what actually their problems are, and uh, and um, do more health visits, door-to-door -door health visits. I guess so. This government should do. 
is it helpful? Uh, it is. <laughs> I will give you some feedback. I think this is my first time. I'm like, I'm, I joined the live classes and then I just went to the website and typed, I want to volunteer. So this is Good for you. Yeah, know. it's awesome. Thumbs yeah. up. That's how you do it. Okay. And thank you. This is quite helpful. I mean, I hardly speak in English with a lot of people around me and you are providing uh, such a free platform for us. I'm well, happy to you. help. Yeah, absolutely. And just like Alex, right? Alex was uh, quite nervous. He's like, oh, this is my first time. Yeah. I mean, if I had to speak Hindi or Punjabi online like this, I'd probably just freak right out and jump out the window. So you're doing better than me. Um, okay. <laughs> so I don't speak I don't speak Hindi or Punjabi, by the way, but if I had to. Um, yeah. So, uh, okay, let me give you some feedback here. Uh, firstly, I think you have pretty good English. Um, I think, really? Thank you. Yeah, I think I think you would score a band six for sure because you're fluent. But I think that you should score higher um, if you give better answers. There's one really big tip that I can give you right away. And I wonder if anybody else will figure this out. So before I tell you this, okay, I'm going to give um, people mm -hmm. in the chat a chance to try to guess what that is. Okay, Anjali? So... Um, what do, what do you think, students? So what do you think, viewers? What is going to be my first big tip for Anjali to improve her band score very quickly and very easily? You just have to practice this. Um, there's one big tip. Simran says, present perfect. Amrit says, explanation. Nazreen says, coherence. Ashish says, directly. So people are giving all kinds of different answers, but it's none of them are the ones I would give you so far. Thank you, people. <laughs> Okay, that's nice of you to thank the viewers. Um, affirmative language. Affirmative language is very important in good communication. Do you know what that means, affirmative language? Um, I guess uh, affirmations uh, which are positive in a way for ourselves and others too. That was very ironic what you said. You said, I guess affirmations. <laughs> okay, so that's exactly what you want to change. Um, when um, when you are speaking, you speak in an uncertain way, okay? So what you say is you said, like, in India, if I say, I think, so notice these parts here that I'm highlighting. Um, uh, and then you said, for further improvements, I guess the government should connect with more people um, so you had a lot of these i guess i think if they could if they might mm -hmm. and this is very uncertain when we communicate to another person uncertainly so we're not sure about what we're saying then your listener is not sure about what you're saying so if you're not sure i'm not sure <laughs> do you get get what i'm saying <laughs> right? I, get so it's like, Actually, uh, oh. I i don't speak english often so uh, I don't know how to communicate. Actually, that's, it's not. It's not I, about the English. Forget about the English, Anjali. It's not about English. It's the same thing. I would, if we were speaking Hindi right now or Punjabi, I would tell you the same thing. So I would say, if I was a, just a communication coach and not teaching English, just communication, I would tell you, you have to speak with affirmative language. Affirmative language means that you have to use words like must, do, can. Okay. So how have governments supported the health of the general public? Um, so changing it to an affirmative language it would sound like this okay in india the government has has mm -hmm. provided uh mm -hmm. much support uh to its uh citizens they have given free vaccines uh mm -hmm. during the pandemic and they mm -hmm. give a lot of money uh, for sports. Mm -hmm. Every neighborhood mm -hmm. in India has a cricket pitch, okay? That is mm -hmm. built by the government. Yeah. Okay, in fact, there's one just down the road from me. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that's affirmative language. Here, this type of answer gives clear confidence in what you're saying, right? So as you're listening, I'm like, oh, okay, this is in India, this is what happens, this is what they do, right? So it's affirmative language, all right? You have good English, Anjali, so you have to use it with confidence, okay? And then your score will go up. Thank you. I, I, I'll try speaking more. I think it, I need a lot of practice. Anjali, don't try do okay uh master yoda in star <laughs> wars said this master yoda in star wars said there is no try there is only do or do not okay <laughs> so again mm -hmm. affirmative language uh can you give suggestions for further improvement yes i can i think the government must listen to the people um when uh indian people uh, want more healthy food in stores the government has a responsibility to make sure that nutritious uh, fruits and vegetables are available for all people um. Okay, mm -hmm. so again, notice this can, must, and so on, okay? Let's practice this, okay? This comes with practice. So when you're doing this at home, Anjali, record yourself, and anytime you hear yourself saying something like, I guess, or they should, or they could, immediately repeat that sentence and change it into a strong, confident, affirmative sentence, okay? Yes, yes, I'll do that, thank you. Good, that's affirmative language. Yes, I will do that, okay? That's good, that's what you want to say, all right? Okay, so uh, let me do a bit of repetition with you just on this first question, okay? I'm going to ask you the question, I'm going to give you the answer, and then I want you to copy it with a nice, loud voice, okay? Sounds okay, good. I have uh, the answers you just wrote on yeah. screen. Yeah, yeah, and you'll see it here in yeah. just a second, okay? So I'm going to say it first and then just repeat it. So how have governments supported the health of the general public? In India, the government has provided much support to its citizens. They have given free vaccines during the pandemic and they give a lot of money for sports. Every neighborhood in India has a cricket pitch that is built by the government. In fact, there's one just down the road from me. How have governments supported the health of the general public? Okay. In India, the government has provided much support to its citizens. They have given free vaccines during pandemic and they give a lot of money for sports. Every neighbor, neighbor, neighborhood in India has a cricket pitch that is built by the government. In fact, there is one just down the road from me. Awesome. Did you feel that? Did you feel how that's just very, like it's confident use of vocabulary so not just in your voice but the choice of vocabulary is confident do you see that yes yes it's better i mean earlier i was sounding like what i'm saying i don't even know what i'm saying now it's, it's, <laughs> exactly. it's better. exactly anjali so if you don't know what you're saying then how is the examiner going to know what you're saying right you have to remember that so affirmative mm -hmm. language is very very important and you want to practice it um, you deserve to be in the exam you have good english be confident, okay? Yes, thank you, thank you so much. You're super it's welcome. Very I'm glad. All right, Anjali, keep practicing and we'll see you back here. Have an awesome rest of your weekend. Okay, okay. thank you, have a nice uh, evening too. Thank you, bye Anjali. Bye. All right, that was Anjali. Some thumbs up, everybody. Anjali did a great job. Affirmative, confident language, very, very important for clear communication. And I, I know a lot of people know this, right? You know this, to sound coherent, to be understood, you have to be confident. If you're not confident, people get confused. And it's not about English, it's just communication, right? Okay, uh, let's pick somebody else. Uh, Jay, I think Jay has been patiently waiting here so uh, somebody from the top jay are you ready let's see if jay is available for um a little bit of practice all right jay says yes sir okay
Hello. Hi, sir. Hi, Jay. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I am good. Thank you. All right, Jay. Uh, may I ask, where are you in this big world of ours? Uh, I'm from India. You're from? So from Hyderabad. From Hyderabad, India. Okay. Um, and why are you uh, planning to take the IELTS exam? Uh, to do my master's in USA. To do your master's in the USA. And what master's, what major? It's computer science. Computer science. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Jay, uh, nice full sentences, details. Okay. All right. Um, when are you doing your IELTS? So it's on uh, July 8th. July 8th, that's your speaking or that's all of it? No, no, it's all of it, so I haven't uh, for speaking yet. Okay, so you don't know exactly when yeah. the speaking is, but you know that that's what the day of the exam. Okay, got you. Yeah. All right, well, let me um, practice with you a little bit and give you a little bit of feedback, okay? Uh, here we go. Um, ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk international sports. Mm -hmm. What are the biggest international sporting events in the world? Mm, some of them are uh, cricket and uh, hockey. So like uh, India is more uh, into uh, cricket. So whenever we have IPL or World Cup, so other people sit in front of the TV and watch them. Why are these so popular? So cricket is very popular in India because um, it's like uh, too interesting, like the way how we play and uh, I'm not getting it. Is it acceptable that countries can buy athletes from other nations to represent them in international events? Mm, I don't think. I don't think so because every country has their own athletes and they were preparing for years and years and uh, I don't think uh, some country need to bring athletes from other countries uh, to represent them in international events. So particularly from India. So for every game, uh, we have uh, 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 athletes here itself. Okay, let me give you some feedback. Mm -hmm. All right, that was good. That was good. That was good. Um, especially your last answer. That was um, very good. Um, I think your last answer would be a clear uh, seven, okay? Um, you're a little bit quiet. The, the sound is a bit um, uh, low on our, uh, in our discussion, mm -hmm. and we have a bit of um, static, but I can hear you, and um, you know, your pronunciation, I think, is a band uh, nine. I can hear every single word that you say. Uh, your mm -hmm. vocabulary is like a band um, 7.5. Uh, grammatical range and accuracy is like a band 8. Coherence 6.5. Overall, it's about a band 7, um, your, mm -hmm. your score. Your fluency was good too. You got stuck a little bit for ideas. Yeah. Um, but uh, I can tell that you have quite good English. So you understood that last question. And to be fair, okay, everybody, so this is for everyone. Uh, not mm -hmm. just Jay, um, these questions are getting more difficult, okay? So these questions are more difficult than the previous questions. And that's the way that speaking part three works is the questions get more and more and more difficult. So this last one, is it acceptable that countries can buy athletes from other nationalities to represent them? That's a tricky question. Even to understand it is a, is a tricky question. Uh, but I think that you did a good job there and I will explain that in a second, okay? All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Um, what are the biggest international sporting events in the world? You said, hmm, some of them are cricket and hockey. Let me give you a good little trick um, to improve your fluency and your score very quickly, okay? So what you wanna do, Jay, 
is use the question mm -hmm. right away in your answer. So when you have good English, like what you have, um, use the question in your answer to build fluency and to build your answer. Okay, so use the question, try to paraphrase it. Okay. Um, at the start of your answer to build mm -hmm. fluency and accuracy. Okay, so international sporting event. Um, what is an international sporting event? Okay, it's some kind of sport event that um, teams from all around the world participate in, right? So mm -hmm. what's yeah. another way to say biggest? Just a synonym, Jay. What's a synonym uh, for biggest? The largest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was just about to type it. Yeah, exactly. So some of the largest uh, sports events um, where teams from all over the world uh, join to play. Okay, so I'm paraphrasing here, but even if you can't paraphrase it like this, just using the question. So some of the biggest international sporting events in the world are, okay, it's still a good way to start. Um, if you can paraphrase, even better, but both are a great way to start. So some of the largest sports events where teams from all over the planet uh, join to play are, and then you said cricket and hockey. Sure, IELTS examiner is not going to judge you. I would go with World Cup football they're just about mm -hmm. to start this year um, the 2022 World Cup football and the Olympics okay those are two that really quickly come to mind for me but um, if you're thinking about cricket or hockey sure yeah those are okay too there's uh, 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 international uh, competitions for those and mm -hmm. the Olympics um, these are played every four years and uh, countries from every continent uh, take part. In fact, uh, World Cup soccer or World Cup football uh, will start in the next month, okay? okay. Uh, so uh, use the question, use the question and the answer. And then um, why are these so popular? Um, they're popular because they are team sports uh, and um, they have been a part of history and culture for many years. So we can answer mm -hmm. there as well. Uh, so practice, you know, practice using the question. I'm going to okay. do a little bit of repetition work with you. So I'm going to um, read the question, give you the answer, and then just copy after me. Okay, are you ready? Okay, yes, sir, Jim. All right. So what are the biggest international sporting events in the world? Some of the Some largest... Of the largest... Oh, no, no, just wait for me first. I'll do it first, oh. okay? So just listen okay. to the answer first. So wait, just wait. Here we go. Some of the yeah. largest sports events where teams from all over the planet join to play are World Cup football and the Olympics. These are played every four years and countries from every continent take part. In fact, World Cup football will, will start next month. Okay, here we go. What are the biggest international sporting events in the world? Some of the largest sports events where teams from all over the planet join to play are World Cup football and the Olympics. These are played every four years and countries from every continent take part. In fact, World Cup football will start in the next month. Awesome. So answer, explain, example, using the question to build that fluency, right? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that was really good. Jay, that's really good. I think, um, what do you need for your master's? Uh, 6.5 or 7? It's 7, actually. 7, okay. I yeah. think you can do it. I think you have, uh, when are you doing your IELTS exam again? Uh, it's July 8th. I mean, July I haven't 8th. I haven't speaking, maybe four days before, yeah. Okay, okay. So you have about three weeks, roughly. Um, I think you can do it. I think you can get a band 7 in your speaking. Just make sure to practice every day like this, okay? Uh, record yourself, listen, and then keep using the question in your answer. And I, mm -hmm. I do think that you can get a band seven. Make sure to give full answers with lots of details, okay? If you get stuck, give an example.
okay sure yeah. yeah thank you so much all right okay jay yeah. and jay if you want <laughs> before your exam you can use that um uh, speaking interview practice option that we have on the website as well it's not a bad idea okay if you have the okay. budget for it it's a good idea to do that all right okay yes sir. Yeah. all right okay bye Jay have a nice weekend yeah. Bye -bye. Yeah. all right so that was Jay from Hyderabad India okay uh, Gurleen says, I think there's a network issue because I can't hear anything. I, I think that's on your end, Gurleen. I think we're good on my end here. Okay. All right, everyone. Uh, let's take one more person. Um, and when we're doing this repetition work, everyone, it's not just uh, for the person I'm talking to. So whoever is watching and listening should also be doing this repetition work. Um, we've got heaven here. Heaven. Let's see if heaven is available. Heaven, are you ready? Okay. All right. Um, you can volunteer by creating an account at aehelp.com, uh, logging into your My Student account, and uh, then you will see me as master. Okay. All right. Heaven is ready. I think we've talked to Heaven before, but maybe I'm wrong. Hello, Heaven. I hear that you picked up, but I do not hear any sound from your end. Uh, you want to check your connection, you want to check your microphone settings both on the browser and on your device. Make sure that you're enabled, Heaven. Okay, check those out, um, test it with another person and then try to connect again uh, in next week's classes. We've got more speaking. Um, by the way, students, we do have speaking tomorrow on Light Hall as well, okay? I'll copy that link in later. All right, uh, let's take one more person here. Um, Farnoosh. Farnoosh, are you ready? Okay. Let's see if Farnoosh is ready. And hang in there, students. You never know. Um, as you can see, we're not able to connect with everybody. It's a very tricky system, right? It's uh, just like uh, WhatsApp Messenger. It doesn't work in every country with every person. Uh, so uh, a lot of different devices. And then there's national firewalls. Like in China, it's really difficult to connect with people. if They're not using VPN. OK, Farnoosh, uh, here we go. Uh, there you are. Hello, Farnoosh. You have also picked up, but I still cannot hear you, Farnoosh. Um, students, one really important tip is make sure that your browser is enabled. And um, another important tip is if it's not working, try a different browser. So if you're using uh, Safari, maybe try Firefox. Okay, uh, some browsers, especially Apple browsers like Safari, um, are mm, not all that great sometimes, okay? Um, all right, so uh, Farnoosh, try it uh, with a different browser in the future, or maybe try it with uh, VPN. Eugene, let's see if Eugene is here. If you're using a VPN and you're routing through a certain country like China, that could be a problem as well. Okay, uh, Eugene, I see that you're at the bottom of the list there and I caught you, so let's see if you can catch me. If you are there, Eugene. Fujie Lu says, I come from China. Fujie, um, if you're in China, we have connected with uh, students in China in the past, but basically all of them are using VPN, so they're using uh, proxy networks, yeah. Uh, Fujie says, and I'm using VPN, yeah. Now, 
doesn't guarantee that it'll work, but there's a better chance that it will work. Okay, Fuji, I'm looking at the, uh, the chat there. Okay, um, if you're using a VPN, try to route through Canada. So if you can route through, for instance, Toronto or even better, Vancouver, uh, that would be good because then you're close to me. Okay, I'm in Victoria. All right. Okay. So uh, yeah, that doesn't seem to be working there, um, Eugene. So let's uh, let's try it with somebody else. Um, okay, somebody who we haven't talked to today. Uh, Zarina, did we try? Yeah, um, Zarina, there's definitely a delay. Let me try with you again. I think we weren't able to connect before. Are you ready, uh, Zarina? Um, Zarina, there, so our audio through the website is real time. It's live. It's but YouTube is not yet real time. YouTube does not have real time live. Um, it's it's always delayed a little bit. Even with extra low latency, there's about a 10 second delay between what I'm actually doing and what you're seeing. So you will see that delay. Okay. All right, uh, Zarina. Let's see if you're there still. I wonder. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to. Oh yeah. Oh, oh Last second. There's <laughs> reason is like that. There's quite a bit of delay potentially, Zarina, between you and I. But let's try. Hi, Zarina. Hello. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm fine. I'm actually trembling here. <laughs> don't I'm tremble. Really... <laughs> just take a deep breath, Zarina. Deep breath, okay? I don't want you passing out over there. So just, a, <laughs> just a deep breath, okay? Where are you, Zarina? You're calling me from the Southeast Asia, Philippines. You're in the Philippines. Awesome. And uh, why are you taking the IELTS? I'm taking it to be able to get an employment to UK. As a nurse? nurse. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's very uh, it's a very popular um, goal for many people in the Philippines to be a nurse in uh, the UK or Canada, which is awesome helping people. It's a beautiful thing. Um, okay, Zarina, well, let, yes, me, um, let me help you with that. So, and I think you need a band seven for that, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. All right, well, let me ask you a couple of um, uh, part three questions. Give me some nice full sentence answers, and then uh, I will give you some feedback, okay? Yes, sir, thank you. All right, Serena, so uh, let's talk international sports. Um, what are the biggest international sporting events in the world? I guess, in my experience, the biggest international sporting events that I've heard in the international in the world is the NBA, uh, Bas uh, National Basketball Association in America, because I guess it's not only being played in every part of the world, but it's really because of the players that in the game they are really popular also just yesterday i watched the championship game and my favorite team won which yeah no 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 stop there okay. okay um i'm just typing away um how do you think international sporting events will change in future years um thinking of it because of this pandemic if this not uh, if this will not be resolved soon i think it will uh, affect the international sporting event uh, it might have a continuous bubble game or there will be a lot of uh, 
what they call the the screening screening process before the events and it will really become a tedious part of the <laughs> I'm blessed <laughs> all right uh, let me uh, give you a bit of feedback that that was good Zarina that was good all right I know you're nervous and uh, one way that you will improve your score is just by being less nervous and one way to be less nervous is to do this kind of exercise where you uh, put yourself out there you practice uh, with a live teacher like this with so many people watching it's definitely a great way to kill that anxiety so uh, good for you um, <laughs> all right, uh, let me give you a bit of feedback. So um, here you would probably get like a band 6.5. I don't think the examiner would give you the seven because seven means good communication or good English. But okay. here's the good news. I think that you can get a seven. So I think that you can easily get a seven. You just have to pay attention to what you're saying, okay? Uh, I truly believe that your speaking is likely even higher, like a 7.5, um, but you have to make sure that you show the examiner that, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, for this first question, um, I was very happy to hear that you're paying attention to the class. So I said, what are the biggest international sporting events in the world? And you said, I guess in my experience, let's get rid of that little word guess, okay? You're not guessing, <laughs> you're saying. Remember that advice um, that I said earlier to, I can't remember her name, but it was uh, about affirmative language, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're sure about what you say. So when you say, I guess, it's not affirmative language. So you have to say for sure. So in my experience, the biggest yes. international sporting events, okay? That's affirmative and you're using the question, so it's good. Um, that I've heard of, in the world mm -hmm. are the NBA, which was good, but that's only one, okay? And this is plural, events, uh, okay. right? So you have to say yes. at least one more. And the Olympics. And the Olympics. Okay. And I know basketball is very popular in the Philippines, so I get that's why you picked it. Good job telling me what the acronym means. So you said National Basketball Association. Nice. I like how you knew what NBA actually means uh, in America. And then you explained it and you said, I guess it's not only being, uh, no, <laughs> okay. It's not just because oh, of the game. I guess. <laughs> yeah. So it's not just, it's not only because the game is so fun. Mm -hmm. So much fun, but uh, the players. Uh, are also really popular uh, like LeBron James right LeBron, I don't know how to spell his name but anyway and then <laughs> you gave a really good example you said just yesterday I watched the championships and my favorite team won that was really good I remembered it Okay, so that was a good answer, all right? Let's just take out those guesses and make it affirmative language, okay? Yes, sir. Um, now, I asked you, uh, how do you think international sporting events will change in the future? And then you said, thinking of it because of this pandemic, and I think you got yourself into some trouble. It became a really difficult answer, and you weren't sure what to uh, say. Here's a really good trick or a really good tip to help you, Zarina. Are you ready for it? Yes, sir. Okay, this is for everybody. So this isn't just for Zarina. This is for everybody, okay? Um, when we talk about the future, especially when we're thinking about humans, okay? What is one part of humanity that always changes in the future? Like, without question, for sure it changes. And you can almost always use this when you're talking about the future. So it makes your answer easier. Um, what is always changing for people in the future? Technology. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I almost spat water at my microphone because you, uh, you surprised <laughs> me. And I had water in my mouth. But um, yeah, technology is always changing, right? Okay. So anytime you get a question about the future, if you're having trouble thinking of a good idea, pandemic is so-so eh, because it's a tough one and it's hard to talk about it. But technology is usually a fairly easy. We all have so much information about it. Um, has technology been used in sports? 
Mm, yes. Absolutely. Okay, in all parts of sports, right? In basketball, have we have we used technology? I'm playing I'm playing basketball on my PS2. Yeah, so you're playing sports on your co game console, right? That's kind of a fun way. Um, and and then maybe if you're really thinking, you're like, oh yeah, people are playing international esports now because of technology. So that's changing, and that will change in the future, right? Um, but even simple thoughts, Serena, like basketball shoes. Are basketball shoes better today or 50 years ago? It's better today. Absolutely, right? So even the clothing or the tools, the equipment that we use for sports will be better in the future. So athletes will be better and the technology will be better. So sports will be even faster, more exciting, right? So mm -hmm. these thoughts should immediately come to mind. So talking about the future, technology. The other one, it's a little bit trickier, but also very common that's always changing is culture. Culture is always changing and society is always changing uh, for uh, people as well. So that's the other one you can think of, that the culture mm -hmm. of sports will change in the future. And there could be new sports that we have never seen in the past, like basketball didn't exist 200 years ago. Maybe in the future there will be a new type of sport that we have not seen uh, yet. Okay, so culture mm -hmm. is always changing, All right? Sounds okay, good? Sir. Let's try yes, this sir. one. So instead of, instead of repetition, Zarina, try this last question again with this new knowledge. So using technology, using culture, okay? How do you think international sporting events will change in future years? Mm, thinking of the future, I, I would say that there will be a big difference from now, from today, when regards to the uh, culture because it will be more diverse and uh, it will become the the games that uh, playing that being played today will be more uh, be played in the near future with the uh, other countries Okay, I think you're confusing yourself. You lost your you lost your subject, which is sports, right? Um, try it with technology. Yeah. So try with technology is, is oh, going to be technology is going to be the easiest. Technology is going okay, to be the okay. easiest. And by the way, viewers, I hope that you're also trying this. So this isn't just for Zarina. This is for everybody. So you should be trying this right now. Okay. So um, try it with technology. Okay. So how do you think okay. international sporting events will change in future years? Definitely, there will be a big uh, changes in the near future with regards to the sporting events because uh, the technology is getting better and better and more and advanced because of uh, innovations. There will be more uh, better shoes to be, be to be available in the market that can be used by players and connect with your last answer such as basketball players so they will run faster jump higher yes just repeat me like basketball players like the basketball players they can run faster and higher jump higher jump higher much better okay so don't forget what you said before right because you make those connections you'll have a better score you'll have more coherence okay uh, yes, sir. All right. So choose the simple path. It's not always easy, but it's yes, the sir. better path. Okay. Simple path. So future technology, future culture. Okay. Those are a okay, couple sir. of easy tips for your upcoming IELTS exam. Okay. Zarina, uh, keep up the good work and uh, make sure to uh, register on our website, aehelp.com and gieltshelp.com. You probably already did that. That's why you're here, right? <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. and use the use the speaking functions and talk to other students as well in this uh, uh, student partner speaking okay so don't just yes, wait sir. to speak to me but talk to other students also okay yes thank you sir you're have a very nice very day. welcome you too have a great weekend all right that was Zarina from the Philippines wish her luck on her journey to the UK to uh, fulfill her dreams of nursing and having a good life um, Zarina thank you
Students, volunteers, thank you. You were awesome today. You really were. Uh, keep it up. Um, don't ever get discouraged. It's all about practice. It's all about hard work and dedication, just like sports and exercise. Uh, if you want to book an IELTS speaking interview practice with me, you can do that by clicking the yellow button on the page. Um, as well, make sure to use the premium package on our website um, here. Uh, by clicking the uh, red uh, join now button. Okay, it's a one-time payment for lifetime access and then you can use all the materials to follow these live classes. We use the exams, as you saw, we just use the speaking interface, so it's really good. Rashika, Emre, members, you are very welcome. Um, Nam, Tren, I'm glad to have inspired you. You all inspire me to uh, do more, help more. So um, I wish all of you a lovely uh, weekend. However, don't forget, everyone, that tomorrow we will have a special class, special free uh, speaking class on Light Hall. Here is the link in the uh, chat. Uh, so you can sign up for that and then join me tomorrow uh, for uh, some more speaking on Light Hall. Okay, Light Hall is a really cool platform for live uh, teaching. Check that out. Um, and um, that's it for today. Uh, hopefully see you on Light Hall uh, tomorrow. I'm Adrian. I'm signing out from beautiful Victoria here uh, in Western Canada. Much love to you all. Bye for now.